All right. Hi, my name's Lindsay. I'm from Nebraska AIDS Project. Lindsay! Okay. And my poem is called My Beautiful Feet. My favorite sensation is getting those rough fleece blankets and rubbing the top of my feet against them. It's been that childhood feeling of cuddling and napping with the mother who kissed my little soft feet when she exercised them. And we'd always sleep in the little cheap blankets from grandpa's house. Now, when I rub my feet against the rough carpet on my floor when I study, I feel pain. My mother is such a nice woman. She's very old fashioned too, but she loves her views. She likes to massage and tend to others, so whenever I stop by to say hi, we sit for a while and somehow my feet end up in her lap and she's fiercely tugging at them. She compliment them and say that my little button toes never change. She say that they're so, so soft and beautiful, though my gnarly toenails would always somehow manage to scratch at her palms. Why she thought they were beautiful was beyond me. After a day of playing in the streets in my neighbor's mud piles, her and I will sit on the edge of the bath together and she'd make sure that my tootsies were free of dirt and tenderly care for the cuts on them, giving them smooches and loving. Now when she grabs them, she can't look at them or look at me in the eye. And I stare desperately, begging her to look at me so she can see the apologetic look on my face. We've had the discussion for what seems like a thousand times. I didn't mean to hurt myself. I really didn't. I was so lost in the moment. It wasn't until after that 12th blistering mark I placed upon my feet what the hell I was doing to myself. A scary night of lack of control and demeaning hours, just like many nights I've had in the past, but the results were supposed to be hidden this time. Yet, they were the most visible to the point that anyone could look at them and just know the brief summary behind the stone. Just like she could see, too. Her fingers lightly danced over my scarred feet. She's gentler than she's ever been with my feet before. I stare at her slow movements and watch her trembling fingers brush over her scar. And then I watch her flinch. I grow angry at myself, and I know it sounds stupid, but not only did I hurt myself, I hurt my mother, too. She doesn't own me, but the nine months and 18 years we've spent together were clear enough that her heart was mine and mine was hers. I love my little soft feet, and so do I love my mother. I felt like they were one of the best quality of me, and now they were scarred to the point it would be impossible to make my feet look like the little soft things they used to be. A tear drifts onto my foot from my mom. She says through a cracked voice, baby girl, I love you, so don't get mad at me, but your feet are still soft and beautiful to me.